The Rivian R1T is the world's first mass-produced electric pickup truck featuring a skateboard chassis. In this video, we'll take an in-depth look at the R1T's key components from an EV systems perspective. The adoption of the skateboard chassis The skateboard chassis is a fully integrated platform designed specifically for electric vehicles. Unlike traditional chassis, it combines all key components, like the battery, motors, electronic control systems, suspension, braking, and thermal management, into a single flat platform. This streamlined design improves both the integration and the smoothness of the vehicle's structure. The name, skateboard, comes from its resemblance to a flat, smooth board. One major difference between a skateboard chassis and a conventional one is that the body and chassis are decoupled. This allows for flexibility, enabling different body styles to be mounted on the same platform, making it easier to build a variety of vehicle models. Rivian is a typical representative of vehicle manufacturers based on skateboard chassis design. The Rivian R1T adopts a typical skateboard chassis structure, the upper and lower body are decoupled and connected by bolts. The body and frame are bolted together, the front and rear suspensions are also bolted to the frame, and there are additional brackets to reinforce the bolted connections. Due to the decoupling of the body, Rivian's vehicle structure differs in terms of collision strength and torsional stiffness compared to traditional chassis. The structure of the large beam provides strength, stability, and ensures the overall rigidity of the body. The decoupled design of the upper and lower body also allows the Rivian R1T to offer ample and flexible interior space, enhancing its practicality. According to information from the Rivian's official website, the Rivian R1T's body dimensions are 5,475 by 2,015 by 1,815 mm, and its internal storage space reaches 62 cubic feet, approximately 1.76 cubic meters, capable of accommodating outdoor equipment such as camping tents, luggage, and even mountain bikes, fully meeting users' outdoor needs. Additionally, the Rivian R1T's interior is rich in details. For instance, it features a gear tunnel area located between the passenger cabin and the cargo bed. This through storage space is designed for storing large outdoor equipment like skis and can even be pulled out and assembled into a campsite kitchen. This design maximizes the advantages of the skateboard chassis architecture, providing excellent interior space utilization and practicality. In traditional body-on-frame vehicles, the frame and the body are separated by flexible materials such as rubber bushings, often requiring the addition of several crossbars to enhance the body's torsional rigidity. However, the Rivian R1T eliminates the use of bushings and flexible materials, directly connecting the body to the frame. As a result, the Rivian R1T's frame does not have crossbars, freeing up more space for the placement of the battery pack. Additionally, with a ground clearance of 14.9 inches, approximately 38 centimeters, the Rivian R1T has ample room to accommodate a dual-layer battery pack, with a single layer height of around 10 centimeters, addressing concerns about driving range. The Rivian R1T's electronic and electrical architecture includes four domain controllers, with interfaces reserved between the upper and lower body to facilitate connectivity. These domain controllers consist of the Intelligent Control Module, which includes autonomous driving and smart cockpit features, the Electric Suspension Control Module, which manages the chassis and powertrain, the Body Control Module, which controls doors, lighting, seats, etc., and the Rear Domain Controller. The Rivian R1T features 15 low-voltage wire harnesses, connected via plugs to integrate the vehicle's electrical components, enabling the overall functionality of the vehicle's electrical systems. To meet the needs of the electrical system, the vehicle design includes electrical interfaces between the upper and lower body, allowing connections for wires, sensors, control units, and other components to coordinate the operation of various vehicle functions. This enables data transmission and communication between different modules, ensuring seamless integration across the vehicle's systems. The Rivian R1T is already equipped with a drive-by-wire braking system, marking the emergence of the drive-by-wire chassis. It features the more mature EHB hydraulic drive-by-wire braking system, with an electronic-assisted brake pedal structure and a braking assistance module using Bosch's two-box system, iBooster plus ABS. The R1T's front and rear brakes use ventilated disc structures, with the front brake calipers being fixed and equipped with six brake cylinders. This design provides stronger braking power at a higher cost, while the rear brake calipers adopt a floating single-cylinder structure. The Rivian R1T uses an electric power steering system, retaining a physical connection structure. The steering mechanism is R-EPS, not a drive-by-wire steering system. The steering system is electric, with the motor mounted on the steering mechanism. 
The tie rods on both sides are adjusted for length via threaded adjustments to achieve front wheel toe adjustments. The steering column is a collapsible four-way electric adjustment structure, with two motors allowing adjustment in two directions. The steering shaft is a three-segment telescopic structure, with the steering column shield and bearings fixed to the front bulkhead, providing sealing and support. In 2023, Tesla introduced the drive-by-wire steering system in its Cybertruck electric pickup, expected to be a milestone event in the industry. The use of drive-by-wire steering can eliminate mechanical components like the steering column and steering shaft, reducing weight, improving steering efficiency, and enhancing collision safety. Drive-by-wire steering, benefiting from advancements in intelligent technology, is gaining momentum. As drive-by-wire steering becomes more widely adopted in production vehicles, we believe that skateboard chassis models will see a significant leap forward in terms of true upper-lower body decoupling, ushering in a major enhancement in vehicle design. The Rivian R1T features a distributed electric drive system. Both the front and rear axles are equipped with distributed electric drives, forming a four-wheel drive system with integrated four-motor power. The motors are liquid-cooled, while the reduction gears are oil-cooled. Each of the R1T's four wheels is powered by a permanent magnet synchronous motor, all of which are interchangeable, much like BYD's E4 platform. The Rivian R1T is also capable of independent power delivery through four distinct drive paths, enabling unique maneuvers such as a tank turn. According to Rivian's official website, the unit powering the front axle is 415 horsepower with 413 pound-feet of torque. In the rear, a higher torque derivative delivers 420 horsepower and 495 pound-feet of torque. This allows the R1T to accelerate from 0 to 60 km per hour in just 3.0 seconds and provide a maximum towing capacity of 11,000 pounds, ensuring ample power. The R1T's four electric motors are divided into two dual-motor assemblies, each with a three-in-one structure that includes two motors, two reduction gears, and one controller. The layout of the dual motor assembly includes a central reduction gear, motors on both sides, and inverters positioned on top. The front left and right motors are integrated with the front reduction gear, and the rear left and right motors are integrated with the rear reduction gear, all mounted to the frame using four suspension points. Each motor controller in the R1T controls two motors, one for each side. The motor controllers are mounted on the electric drive assemblies and are integrated into a three in one structure, with an aluminum alloy housing. The controllers are cooled via liquid cooling. Inside the controller, components are organized, with the main control board and capacitors placed centrally, and the two drive boards and IGBT modules positioned on the sides. The chips on the main control board of the motor controller are Infineon's Tricore series, and the microcontroller is a 32-bit, three-core unit responsible for controlling the two motors. The R1T's motors use flat wire electric motors, providing strong power performance. These motors have an effective copper fill rate of up to 70%, an increase of more than 20% compared to traditional motors, reducing copper loss in the windings and improving motor efficiency and power density. In summary, the skateboard chassis design offers numerous advantages for the Rivian R1T. For vehicle manufacturers, it reduces production complexity, enhances vehicle versatility, and provides greater flexibility in space design. With the mass production of technologies like steer-by-wire, Skateboard chassis vehicles are poised to revolutionize the future of electric vehicle manufacturing. At Brogan, we provide not only skateboard chassis solutions for passenger cars, but also for trucks and autonomous electric vehicles. Additionally, we offer standalone EV systems such as steer by wire systems and distributed drive electric axles to support EV builders in enhancing their projects. You may contact us through our email address in the video description and explore how our solutions can empower your EV project. That's all for today's video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, as we're going to update more videos sharing the latest EV innovations, technologies and more.